Okay, so today on my pro tips videos, I'm going to do a video on plastic welding. Here we have the clear piece of plastic. We need to use some clear plastic so you can see what we're doing here. And we're going to repair this, put this in back into here. This, as you can see, this is quite broken. We're going to repair the cracks. Um, and I'm also going to show you a couple of tips and tricks and uh, wait till the end of the video because I'm going to share with you a really handy tip you'll need to know that will really help you out. So first of all, I'm going to Im replace the piece of broken, broken plastic back to where it should be. So with the piece of plastic back in place in this video I'm going to use a gas soldering iron. I'd recommend using a soldering iron no more than sort of a 40 watt power. This I'm going to use this gas one because this is what I've got. The thing with uh, plastic welding is you don't want to get the plastic so hot it basically burns. You want to just warm it up and melt it but keep it below the temperature of it burning. That is how you weld plastic. This is for all plastic items, you can use this on anything and everything from car trims to car bumpers, um, anything that's plastic, you can literally plastic weld. So on this we're going to be able to plastic weld the outside of this. So what you want to do, let's get this nicely in shot. Once your soldering iron is heated up, you just want to kind of, what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to do two, one at each end, just to stop, just to give that a second to cool. Right, that one now, just hold that piece of plastic into place. And what you want to do is you want to feed the soldering iron in and you want to work backwards along the groove. You don't want to get the plastic so hot that it starts smoking up and melting. You can see now it's just getting to a nice temperature. I'm just going to fill it back in. Just wait for that to cool down. Once it starts to cool, if you see the plastic's not burning at all, it's just getting up to melting temperature and melting and just joining the two sides of the, the crack back together as you can see there, that is now on the top one so we're just going to work around now and just do this one here So say before you just want to go in the sort of the, the corners and just here up just so they melt back together and then that way when you're working along the cracks the item holds itself still so for a large crack like this you can get use this one here. If you're using a soldering iron you've probably got some wire laying around. You can use the wire to really strengthen the solder the solder joint just because you're using a soldering iron. So what you want to do is just melt the wire into the elastic you can see oh, come out of shot slot. you'll see that the wire actually embeds itself into the plastic okay it's not so good on the reason I'm using a clear plastic is so that you can see how this works 
So you, this would be good if you're doing this on, say, a plastic trim for a car, or motorbike fairings, or plastic bumper. See how that's really now sort of. I don't know if you can see that. That has really got stuck in there. So I'm going to do that. Once you've got one end on, you can start to sort of untwist this wiring. Just going to untwist this opposite end. Solder this piece. Solder, plastic roll this piece here into the centre. So you can do this. And again, the plastic will just cover up that copper. And I'll show you once we've finished just how strong this comes to be. So I'm just putting it right into that crack there. good thing that I, uh, I repaired the other day with Plastic World was a drawer in the freezer. The freezer drawer broke. A big crack in it, the brittle plastic. And uh, I used a very similar repair to this on that because that was broken. So you can now see how that wire is really embedding into that into that plastic. So we're going to start up here. And we're just going to kind of come along and just do some really good blobs along it. And then just come along so you can really see with the clear plastic how this works. You don't need any special tools, just a low powered soldering on. Don't get the plastic too hot. You can see there how that's really melted itself together. This one up here, this is, I don't know if you can see how much pressure I'm putting on that now. Look at the, it's actually bending the plastic up here. Also use shapes. So right here, oh, I've got a piece of wire and then an S shape. Oh, that's good if you've got a long crack in your. So if you've got a crack in a, a car panel and it kind of goes all the way along, you'd want to put something at the end and then something there and then something there. And then these are really good for that. You can use any sort of wire, it doesn't have to be a copper piece of copper wire. So, same as before, just get the end of it in, in place so it's held together. Okay, so that's set. I'm just going to heat this little patch here up, bring the wire over. Start to melt that into the plastic there. And then slowly work along the along the wire. The wire will slowly take the heat and bed it in. And once you've done this, I'm going to show you my pro tip in a second. 
think that makes plastic welding really strong that people don't often tell you which I use you can also use heat to take scratches out of panels so you can really see how this is embedding itself into the plastic by using this clear plastic so look at that. I don't know if you can see but that is really in there once that sets there is no way that that is going to be able to pull apart so if you've got a long crack in a car panel a plastic panel or a fairing on a motorbike and you use this along the crack there's no way it's ever going to come apart okay so my pro tip is cable ties when you cut a cable tie off keep a length that you cut off because you do cut most of a, a cable tie off and this is perfect for plastic welding so if you've got so a hole like here you need to fill just so good. just heat up the cable tie and you can use it to fill gaps because it's made of the same plastic the same sort of poly polyurethane or poly you want to keep something to keep soldering on tip clean to stop from building up any burnt sort of plastic so yeah you can use cable ties the ends of the cable ties you use to cut off to fill holes when you're a uh, when you're plastic welder you use them on the top of so like you could use it on top of this here to, to add some extra strength but yeah I use plastic welding all the time I find it a, a really good skill to have and I just thought I'd make this video today and share some of my my tips that I use for repairing plastic trim and panels and plastic items that you'd quite often just throw away because they get damaged. So you know, using the the clear plastic and the, the coloured cable so you can see how that just fills in over the top. split open so that will never pull out because it's all split in different directions so that's really strong and you can also use small loops again that being ideal for putting near the ends of a crack or in the middle because it will stop the panel from trying to pull itself apart Let's just do this one last one just here. And then we're going to just see how strong it is. The only problem with this little loop is it's quite small and it's going to get hot. Ow. Okay, so we'll just wait for that end to cool down. Embed this, no, the other end's lifted up. I'm going to embed one end. Let's put some plastic over the top. You want to use, do this in a well ventilated area. I wouldn't recommend breathing in the sort of smoke that you're getting off the end of the soldering iron. That's why you want to use it in a well ventilated area. Let's just try the opposite end of this loop. 
But yeah, plastic welding can be done by anybody. I find an old item that's got some cracks in it or broken, that you're not too worried about. And then just sit and try some of these. Some of these ideas out. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the solder in like that. And we're just going to have a little test and just see how strong this plastic panel is. Okay, so flex test. Okay, well, nothing there is breaking when I flex it sideways. Let's get hold of this panel that we've stuck in here. Wow, that took some force to break that, but that was only welded on the outside. But the force that I've used up there to break that has not broken down here. Oh, it's pulled this one out, but then this one's still really soft at the minute. This one's hadn't hadn't actually had time to set. But That's not coming apart. So, I hope you found this video useful. My pro tip for you is keep your chop down cable ties and use them to help you with your plastic welding projects. Use a low powered soldering iron, a 40 watt soldering iron is ideal. Get yourself a broken piece of plastic or get a piece of plastic and hit it with a hammer as I did for this video and then just sit and practice. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Please drop a comment below of uh, how you found this video and um, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel for more interesting content like this. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.